Hi friends. Well, I'm at it again. I'm cooking up some more goodies here. I think maybe you can probably figure out what I'm going to do, but anyway, I went to the store, picked up some cranberries here. They're fresh from Wisconsin here. It's one of our um, famous crops for this area, and they taste pretty good, but you got to cook them up, put some sugar in them. And hang on a minute, Bear's coming over here to help. What are you looking at, Bear? Huh? You want your wig back, don't you? Huh? <laughs> okay, well, we can do that. But yeah, the reason I bought this brand back to my store here, see, they come with a hairnet. So then Bear's got one he can wear. Ain't that right, Bear? Well, if we can get it on him here, but it's going to take a couple hands. Then I've got another one here for me. <laughs> You know, we don't want to get any hair in our cranberries when we're cooking them. But I took my bear wig off here, Bob. This is what I've been making here. It turned out pretty good, don't you think? And I've got a couple white ones left in here for myself, but, you know, they'll do all right. They sure are warm, but it's kind of hairy to wear when you're cooking. <laughs> and you got to always have plenty of food handy for the cook, because when you're making cranberries, they're so sour you can't snack on them. So then you get some nice candies out like this and some... Uh, cheese things here, whatever they're called, and even some gumdrops, and Bear likes these things, these little cherry things. They're sour watching me eat them. He likes them. Yeah, don't you, Bear? <laughs> oh, come on, make a face for us. No. <laughs> yeah, he likes, oh, you like them, don't you? Okay, well, I'm going to get to work here. We've got to kind of just look through them here and make sure there's no bird droppings or rocks or maybe somebody lost some money in there or something you know when they were picking them this one looks pretty good and I'm gonna dump them all in this thingy with all the holes in it here and wash them off some and then we'll put them in a pot over here and add a whole bunch of sugar and then we'll boil them for a little bit so hang on while I get everything ready to go here okay now Bear and I've got all the cranberries rinsed off real nice and put in here with some water. I didn't find any money in there or nothing good, no good big bugs or anything, so that was disappointing. But now they're all ready to boil. But now you got to add sugar to them because I'll taste one here and. Ooh, them things are nice. If you like sour apples. <laughs> oh, they're pretty sour. Actually, I kind of <clears throat> need something to drink here. That's why I keep all this sweet candy here. I was going to throw that one back in there, but I better not. You know, this is a real bona fide cooking video. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll just eat it. Oh, man, I got my hair stuck in. Oh, oh there we go. I can get my bear wig off. That thing is, like, really long now. The right bear. Do you want to wear it again? Look at him. Yeah, he likes his bear wig. Oh, man, I got hair in this thing and everything here. Hmm. Boy, that thing is really sour. Oh boy, it's good though. But what I, I can't even talk to things so sour. What I normally do, these I just grab some off the shelf downstairs. But every year I, I boil them up like I'm doing here, and then I put them in canning jars and seal them up, and they're good for years, and they taste really good. You can warm them back up, eat them cold, however you want to do. But you definitely want to put sugar in them. Right, there we go. So I've got my sugar ready here. So we're gonna add sugar in the next step. So hang on. Okay, I've got the sugar ready here. I don't know how much to put in there. I just start putting a whole bunch in there. This definitely isn't something you want to do if you're on a diet program that don't have sugar in it. But if you don't put sugar in it, it's like they're just unbearable to eat. But once you put sugar in them, they're like very good. I don't know, we'll start with that, it's probably, uh, it's probably like a cup and a half or something, I don't know, give or take a little bit. And then I'm going to get that boiling here, I, that'll take a little bit, so I got to, I don't know what I got to do, I forgot what I was going to say, hang on. <laughs> okay, we're back again, Bear and I have been snacking down here, he can't have any of these chocolate ones, I just brought those out for the chocolate lovers like Nikita, she has a lot of chocolate there, so... Got to have some chocolate in this video along with bear hair and candies and cheese corn. Well, I'm having a regular party here while I'm cooking. 
Isn't that fun? <laughs> yeah, Bear likes the smell of chocolate though, so I gotta make sure he don't get any. Yeah, these, I was out at that Amish natural food store the other day when I was out and about, and they sell all these nice different candies and all kinds of things they make out there. And they've got this little loaf of lemon bread. I'm gonna dig into that later. That's gonna be really good. But I'm being careful not to put any names on here or sing too many songs. I don't wanna get in trouble. You know how that goes. <laughs> so hang on while we get things boiling here. I got them sitting here and the burner's getting hot. Well, here we go again. Boy, I had a problem here. I just went opened the door up, bringing some wood in, and this goofy little bird came in here to beg for some cranberries. <laughs> kind of wet though. Looks like you've been getting snowed on outside. <laughs> Anyhow, all these snacks are making me thirsty. I'm going to have to brew up a mug of coffee here. And then, oh, these are really good. These are little mint candy cane kind of things, like a soft uh, minty thing. They taste really good. Like I say, that story is just a really, this is probably a nice old time candy that they sell, which I, I have to get some samples because we don't go out there that often, but so that's kind of nice. So now what am I going to do here? I've been, I've been waiting for this thing to start boiling, and they say that a watched pot ne never boils, but we'll see. I bet you it will. I watch it long enough, hey? And yeah, just stir vigorously. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'm going to pause this for a minute. Oh, I got... What is that? Birds are coming out of the woodwork here. I got a rooster in here, too. Oh, boy. Well, he's not moving very fast, though. <laughs> but the pot is starting to boil, see? So I'm going to keep watching it here and see what happens. Okay, I've been standing here watching this pot not moving a muscle. And I just proved that old saying wrong, that a watched pot never boils because this one's boiling. And I've been watching it really close. But I've been snacking down, too, at the same time. So we're going to let them cook a little more. See, they're starting to pop open when they start boiling. They may explode. So they end up with a big mess. That's why I put them in such a big pot. Because otherwise, I was going to use that other pot there but then I'll have a big mess to clean up all over the stove when I get done and then with the sugar in there she gets pretty sticky and it's gonna get boiling for us now I boil them for a while until they're all mushy and seem like they're done you can't really taste it to tell how sweet you got it because <laughs> it's pretty hot but I suppose you could if you wanted to but boy that's pretty hot so I'm going to let it cook a while here. My camera is going to steam up on me. We'll see what happens. Boy, that's boiling really nice now. It's starting to smell good, too. It kind of smells like candy when she's cooking here. Now we're going to keep going. Well, we're still cooking here. I went and got myself a different kind of spoon now. So I can see a little bit more how they're starting to look here as they're cooking. They look like they're almost done. They really don't have to boil that long. Depends how mushy you want them. How uh, thick you want the juice to get. But normally I'll make it like this. And then after it's you know done now, I'll just dump them in my canning jars here. And seal them up good. And just like I did with the tomatoes. And I, like I said before, I take the spinners off. So they are nice and easy to get the lid off later. This one's been, well, two years ago I made these. And I've got newer ones and older ones. They last a long time when you can them up like this. But I'm not going to can any this year. Normally I buy a real big crate of them. But I've got so many in jars already, I don't need to make more. So I'm never going to eat all them up. But I think they're doing good here, so hang on while I check it out. Oh, another tip that I forgot to mention before. What you do is you boil up all of them but a small handful. You leave a handful of them raw. So then if you have a guest that you really don't like that comes over for dinner, you can serve them up a real nice dish of sweet ones like this. But just put a handful of them sour ones in there for them, and then you'll, you'll be really surprised at the look on their face when they bite into the sour ones. But yeah, this is what they look like when they're done. You can serve them up with dinner for Thanksgiving, or typically that's what they do Thanksgiving and Christmas because they're in season then for harvesting. And always make sure you mess up a lot of dishes when you work in the kitchen because it's always fun doing dishes <laughs> so anyhow I can't taste them right now but I'm I'm sure they're gonna be fine I've made these many many times so and I have gotta put all my snacks away here before bear finds them and 
So I just had a little fun with the wig here. I didn't really make that out of bear's hair. <laughs> but it probably would have worked, but his hair is not quite that long. Just in case anybody was afraid I gave bear a haircut. So, alrighty, well, thank you very much for watching. And yeah, we'll see if this guy... Yeah. Okay, I think we're done now, so I'll catch you guys later.